the Ramazan. Ask for the prayers of those ones who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help them. You can ask, of course, you're going to ask Allah for forgiveness, but there are those ones, like they say in very old way, uh, English, from your mouth to God's ears. Uh, we were not used to what the God, we say Allah. So there are those ones that they are close to Allah. And it is for their sake. If you ask Allah, Allah will give to you according to you. According to you. What you have done, what you have not done, He will judge according to you. When you ask someone to help you, Allah then will judge it according to that one, not you. You understand? And because of that one, not because of you, because you deserve something else, but it says, Ya Rabbi, please. Okay, because of you, then I'm going to forgive him. I'm going to make it easy because of you. So now, find those ones. That's why the Quranic verse is saying over and over again, be with the Salihin, be with the Salihin, be with the Salihin. So at that time, ask for the prayers of that one that is close to Allah. We are not close to Allah, not you or me. Our Shah is close to Allah. So we ask. And now intelligence is going to tell you for that to have more benefit, you have to have a stronger connection to that one who's close to Allah. If you have a very weak connection to that one who's close to Allah, and you only ask for help whenever you need help, when things are good, you don't even give salams. Then you think Allah is not watching that too? Yeah. Why are we saying so much um, Darud al-Sharif and Salawats? Why are we doing that? To strengthen our connection to the Prophet ﷺ. Because Prophet ﷺ is going to give shafaat for everyone. But if we don't have a connection to him, that shafaat is not going to be as beneficial or as effective. You understand? Because Allah is still looking. And Allah is saying, you must love that one. And you must obey that one. For Allah to love you. You're asking for Allah's love and mercy, but you don't have love and obedience to the one that He says you must love. Then that time He's saying it's not going to be benefiting you so much. So we have to make Darud Sharif. We have to strengthen our connection to those ones who are close to Allah. Then that's the time they ask and Allah will give. <coughs> Inshallah Rahman. Yes, strengthen your connection. Be close to them. Be with the Salihin. Listen, learn, serve. Learn how to be in a Jamaat. Learn from them. Don't just say, I love you, without any proof or doing anything. Of course, it is impossible not to love the friends of Allah. But what's more important is if they love you. Of course, they love you. You can say, oh, they love... What is in their heart? We're asking for ourselves to be put into our shaykh's heart. That's important. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.